curtains, bold performances, provocative pictures, and painted walls. Art has long been living in the new era and formation. Ask questions, be surprised, experience new sensations, and set off on an exciting journey through the world of contemporary art with Modern Art Program. Today in the program, Augmented Reality of Contemporary Art, Video Art as Alternative to Canvas and Paint, Exhibition That Will Never Return, Visual Experiments of Artist and Photographer, Bring the Happy in the Map of Kazakhstan. Technological progress has significantly changed the face of modern art. A new phenomenon called media art appeared as a result of the interaction of artists and new technologies. Digital art immediately opposed the traditional, which is now called analog art. Video art, VJing, pictures with augmented reality, Photoshop instead of colors, interactive map is a scenario of the future performance. This is only a small part of technological progress. Generations are changing, that's why we need new instruments to create a more engaging art so young people will spend a little more time near paintings. We need to attract them to cultural objects. At the moment, young people are speaking in the digital language. We as artists, as a community, should not stay away from this trend. We can also take an active part in this change. This year, an experiment that combined art and IT was conducted in Kazakhstan. Artists representing a variety of areas in the visual arts participated in this project, from classics to street art. Each of them presented their works dedicated to the capital of Kazakhstan. This work is called Nest, this one Baitirek, the tree of life, and this work is called Journey. I perceive Astana as a beautiful journey in a new way presented my work in this direction. They are made mostly of filaments. In the base, the background is made of threads. A stitch embroidery is on top of it. By combining the imagination and the possibilities of information technology, young artists together with programmers developed a special mobile application. A group of 50 people worked on its creation for half a year. It seems that half a year is a lot of time, but all the time there was not enough time. It seemed that you can improve it. And even at night, before opening the gallery, we went to work on this application with programmers. We attempted to combine visual art and IT technology for the first time, and it was a great experiment which we finally managed to do. The first exhibition with augmented reality was opened in Kazakhstan. This technology is based on the interaction of a digital camera and a computer that reads an image, processes it, and adds it in a virtual way. It can consist of text, image, video, or 3D animation. Thus, augmented reality creates a second level of reality existing in parallel with a base reality. A smartphone becomes a window into this reality. First of all, augmented reality allows us to fully reveal the meaning in general, the design of the work of art. And second of all, it also provides additional functional capabilities. Here an application created by programmers is needed. Thanks to it, smartphone owners can revive the exhibits. For example, if you direct a smartphone on a picture or an art object, a video appears on the phone screen that reveals the process of creating a work. We take the phone, turn on the application and point it at the picture and it turns out, first the artist paints a picture and then an animation is created for it. We have the work of Arai Lim Kuanisheva. It is called Astana. And augmented reality, it puts such a final point in this story. It completes the composition. What do new technologies give art? Interactivity, augmented reality as part of the art of new media brings us first of all to not only intellectual comprehension of what we see, but also to emotional perception. As for academic work, it works very well because due to the fact that we animated them, people look closely, peer into details, linger near the pictures. 
In the future, we plan to be able to take photos. We'll be able to record video on the background of these animations and then share it with everyone on social networks. If augmented reality is the latest invention, then such a direction as video art has long been used successfully by Kazakh artists. In contrast to the augmented reality, this instrument is democratic in production use, because besides the camera, almost nothing is needed. Artists of the 20th century, of the second half of the 20th century, proclaimed that the new instruments in their hands would not be canvas and brushes, as in previous generations of artists, but a ray tube and a television screen, like a symbolic canvas, on which they will create their own works. Even before portable video cameras, the artists experimented with the TV as a sculptural object and created mass media art objects. And when affordable video cameras appeared on the market, artists massively began to shoot short films. In fact, Nam Jun Paik, the famous American artist of Korean origin, became the founder of video art. And of course, his first steps, his first experiments, they designate those key milestones, point of development of this art and its further improvement. Video sculptures invented by Pike later became known as video installations and defined a genre of art. Today, a video installation can be called a single screen projection and more complex structures, but the main thing in this direction is an image that is reproduced on television monitors or on projection screens. Yerbosin Mildebekov takes the notorious black square as one of the legendary achievements of the art of the 20th century as a key image for a series of his video works called The Black Square. By creating his black object from the larva, the artist captures the moment of their life, the sprawl, the literal metamorphosis, the transformation of the most key form of the square. But most importantly, of course, there is an ironic play on the very idea of not only the transformation of art, but the revival of the artistic image in the literal sense of the word. Video technology has given artists the opportunity to think out loud and show in different ways how they perceive the world around them. In addition, video as a technology allows you to approach the viewer, so the presence of the psychology of human relationships is a feature of video art. This is not just a technology for effects, it is a new language of art that expresses the artist's thoughts and decodes space. The author, who has shown himself to be an integral part of the video art, is Alma Ghul Menlibayeva, the artist who lives between Kazakhstan and Western Europe. And just as she travels between Berlin and Almaty, she creates a cultural bridge, I think, between modern technologies and the ancient heritage that she comprehends in her works. Well, plus this mix of innovations and archaic works in such a leitmotif that determines its creativity. Another recognized master of video art is artist Saeed Atabekov. His creative path began as part of the art group Red Tractor, which is famous for its vivid performances. Today, Atabekov, one might say, continues the traditions of this association. The theme of travel is often present in the works of Saeed. And the image of a dervish, a mendicant wanderer, became practically the artist's signature work. Video Volkman. Video Walkman, it is a wandering nomadic man who wanders through the steppe among high voltage power lines and bending under the weight of a huge musical instrument, carries a contrabass that symbolizes Western European culture. And this image of the East, bent under the layers of European culture, seems to me to be the key in this artistic image. Video art is a product of art that is difficult for the viewer to perceive. If the visitor decides in the picture gallery what to watch and how, in this case he can manage the video himself. A completely different approach is required from the viewer. A more understandable genre, Vijing, creation of artistic images in real time. A distinctive feature of this art form is the shift in emphasis from the result of activity directly to the process of production itself. Today, Vijing is a fresh trend in art which uses various visual innovations of technology. Mm -hmm.
Mass communications, which in many respects dictate certain rules of interaction with visual material, already inevitably penetrate into art and determine the consciousness of the artist and the consciousness of the viewer as well. The projector and the screen are one of the components of the equipment necessary for VJing. It should contribute to the perception of music as it happens in real time. In addition, the VJ should have an artistic taste and be able to represent music in the form of visual images. Therefore, the VJ is a video artist who creates a full work of art. First, we get together and create a plan. What will we have? What music will we have? Good. What kind of video will be used with this music? And then a step-by-step -step plan is written, that is, what we need in the first place, in the second, in the third, in the fourth, and in the fifth. Then we do it all together. We gather everything. We write the music, then we process the video and take pictures. This year, the creative tandem of Sviatoslav Usevich and Renat Khakimov decided to make a test project. They revived the paintings of contemporary Kazakh artists through music. The artworks undergo a number of digital transformations. We photographed their paintings in large expansion, divided them into different layers and plans, and gave them life, so to speak. And every movement of any pattern, any plan, it was accompanied by music and different effects, or subtracting sound. For example, a picture appears and a corresponding sound appears with it. They also work together, they come and go, or become brighter or fade. I prepared a set of Afro, Bailey and Funk. These are Brazilian motifs and a little bit of underground hip-hop. People will be able to sit on the chairs, listen to the noise, music and look at the visual part, pictures. This art performance is called a multimedia exhibition. For the restless viewer of the digital age, it is a convenient way to get acquainted with art. In particular, the project involved pictures of a young artist, Christina Nessler. Christina works in the genre of abstraction, and for the project she presented works inspired by the universe and the sea. Here are different details. For example, these bubbles, the girl herself on the background, such small points as if they are stars. This is divided into three levels and all of them are revived. It can generally be removed. For example, it can appear later. It can fly away. The artistic experiment inspired the team for other projects. It turned out that the works of contemporary artists seem to have been specially created for experiments using new technologies. This picture is called Scrambled Eggs. I don't know, I looked at it ambiguously. Then I was told what it was called, and it gave a different form of understanding. There are not so many plans here, it seems, there are only two. You can revive these two pieces of these elements and repeat them here. Vijing has a worldwide scale and recognition as an art form. For example, during the Cannes Film Festival, works of this genre received different awards. According to representatives of Kazakhstan, Vijing, such attention to this genre is absolutely justified. If we take science and religion, then art is somewhere in the middle. That is, in science we go through the knowledge of facts, in religion we accept general principles. And in art we understand some complicated things. We can convey complex things through a picture, through sound, through anything. Indeed, modern art receives significant advantages due to the ability to combine different directions in a single product. This approach was adopted by the participants of the multimedia project Visual Laboratory. Alpamis Batirov, artist and musician. Ilyas Mirmanov, photographer. Together they create works that are difficult to identify with only one category. We are looking for new approaches, how to interact with space, interact with people through new technologies. At the moment there are three of us. 
My girlfriend, Aidana, she is my bride. At the moment, we recruit more people into our team. We want to create such a full-fledged creative structure, such a mechanism that would work at every moment to ensure the highest possible quality and creative product. In this creative laboratory, the team conducts visual experiments with different materials and directions. For example, the projection on the wall and its refraction, interactive installations and much more. There are a lot of materials in my creative arsenal. There are dozens of them, probably. I use photographic paper, chemicals, I use all sorts of balloons, projections of various kinds, computer animation. There are a lot of materials that interest me. Reportage, documentary shooting, I'm very fond of it, because sometimes you film a person and he does not see you at all. He performs on stage or does something else, and you film him from a beautiful shot. It turns into a live photo. The opportunity to interact with people and to recognize their vision of creative processes is one of the main aspects of this kind of activity. Elias and Alpamis like to involve spectators in projects that they create. In their opinion, interaction equals progress in the modern world. In fact, the emotional component is around 50% of everything that gives food for creativity. Certainly, your emotional background, your perception motivates you. The other 50% includes there in some political component, the atmosphere around your family, so to speak. Many things affect it. These young artists are changing the format of contemporary art. They create art objects that are not similar to anything else. In the creative tandem, Ilias and Alpamis embody the boldest ideas. Thanks to new technologies, it is possible to involve the viewer even in the process of creating a theatrical production. In 2017, as part of the cultural program of the British Pavilion at Astana Expo, the creative team Invisible Flock visited Kazakhstan. This is an interactive art studio created in 2009 in Leeds by three artists, Ben Eaton, Victoria Pratt and Richard Warburton. They became famous for unusual creative works using the latest technology. They are called innovators of digital and interactive art. The team is known for its extraordinary works on the crossroads of different forms of art. To find a suitable place in the city and install a map there, and ask people to mark their happy memories connected with this or that place on it. In Astana, the British team realized their project, Happy People. This year, they decided to repeat it in Almaty. The uniqueness of the play is that it never repeats itself. Each new city gives birth to a completely new production. The fact is that ordinary people take part in the creation of the show. To do this, they need to talk about the places that contain their happy memories. A few months before the performance, a digital installation is installed in the city. It embodies an interactive map of the city. Everyone can mark the place on the interactive map where he was happy and share the story that is connected with this place. After we collect memories, our British partners, actors, scriptwriters, musicians will create a unique scenario based on the collected stories. The collected happy memories become the basis for a musical performance about the city. The viewers of these productions are actively involved because they can consider themselves as full participants of a creative team. Technologies could not bypass art. Before the artist had only a brush and paints, his own imagination and love of creativity. Today, videos, cameras and digital imaging technologies are at the service of artists. Thanks to modern technologies, there is no longer a division between the artist and the viewer. 
Now they are partners rather than creator and observer.